All right, so on this video, uh, we're gonna have some, uh, use some spray paint, different shades of green, uh, some black, and uh, obviously the canvas, and then I'm gonna take a bag, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray paint, use the different colors, um, doesn't have to be perfect, and then what we'll do is uh, use this bag to create, um, you know, some type of pattern, uh, texture you know it's just very different very unique uh, and it's pretty easy easy so um, let's get started so let's start with the black real quick and just spray all over you don't have to cover the whole thing but um, just get the main parts and then uh, go with the darker green there we go use the lighter green Go back again, and then use your uh, bag and just start. And uh, like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect. I'm just showing you just for this video, there's um, different ways of doing it, but just kind of like just create so you can see, uh, you know, just different little things going on in there. And then um, I'll let this dry and then I'll show you what I'll do next, okay? All right, so now this one is pretty dry. So the next step, and uh, you may have seen my other videos um, using templates. Um, so I'm going to take this turtle, set it, I don't know, I'm still debating whether I want to do it this way and then another, add another one that way, or just center it for the purposes of this video. So maybe I'll do that, maybe I'll just set it. Uh, so I'll do something like this and then what I'll do is I'll outline it with a black um, jelly roll. Uh, so once I finish that, I'm going to take some black matte acrylic paint and go around the edges and then start fading it out and then the last step is to take black wash so just mix some black um, acrylic paint matte and then add some water to it and then just um, add a couple of layers so you don't want it 100 percent black on the outside you can but because you have this cool patterns and uh, different textures i think it's, it's cool if you maybe just fade it out so we'll play around, but the first step, like I said, is just to get this outline on there, add a black outline, uh, and then just keep working the layers. So uh, let's put this, um, the, the first step, like I said, is just to add the line onto it. All right, so I got the, uh, I don't know if you can see it, the outline of the sea turtle. So the next step, um, let's take some uh, matte black uh, acrylic, shake that, take a smaller brush, and then basically what we're going to do, it's um, just going around the edges like this. And like I said, I don't know if you saw my last, my other video, um, same technique and same thing using a uh, sea turtles but that one we use different color um, spray paints. That one we used um, oranges, bl uh, yellows, uh, where this one is different shades of um, green. So same, you know, technique, same process. So basically, just kind of go around um, and start fading it, fading it out. Because once we uh, finish going around. Uh, we're gonna start adding the black wash onto it. So again, you don't want it 100% black, that's up to you, but for the purpose of this video, and because we did this texture with the spray paints, I think it's cool just to add a shade, uh, a couple of layers of black and, and that's it, not um, completely make it 100% black. So let me go around this, let that dry, and then we'll add uh, the black wash. 
All right, so this part, so I'm almost done. So I'm gonna take this part. So you kind of see, I'm um, just going around it like this and then just kind of fading it out. So we just got a little bit left and then we'll go on to the wash. And you, you know, you could keep repeating the process again. It just depends how dark you want um, the outer edge and this part but for the time being um let's let that dry for a little bit and then we'll start going at it going over it with uh with the black wash all right so then the next step now is to take some um black uh acrylic ink matte you know acrylic and then add some water and then we're just gonna take uh the brush and just kind of start laying it down and spreading it. Um, you definitely don't want it, you know, you don't want something like this and then going somewhere else because if that dries like that, it's gonna be super dark. So kind of just work your way around it. You know, the goal is just to make it a little bit darker. Uh, so that way the sea, the sea turtle, you know, stands out. So just kind of work around the edge and just you know spread it around and you know it may take um, a, a few layers it, it really depends how dark um, you want it to be so you know again it doesn't have to be perfect um, you know this is considered abstract so it's not like it's a detailed photorealistic sea turtle I mean you can make it that way if you want you know, you already have all the different textures, um, but for the purpose of this video and what, what I'm trying to do, you don't have to make it all, you know, detailed. So again, just kind of spread it out. Get some more. And just work it. Spreading it, and I'm still debating whether I want to glaze it or try the resin. Um, I've never done resin before. Um, I see videos, and it looks so cool. Um, you know, and it, it'll probably look really cool for these type of um, art. Um, I think all the, the fine details and things like that you know, will really pop. So, um, anyway, so yeah, so just keep working it around. Just there's a few hairs or, you know, uh, probably from the brush or just dust and stuff. So just take those out. Um, and again, you know, just keep uh, spreading it around. It does, does take a little bit of time to, um, to dry. Uh, be careful too, if you put it, uh, on a, you know if you put the fan on or whatever over it because it might spread it even more and then it's it's not going to look evenly so um just let it sit and you know what i do is work on multiple paintings at once that's the key to you know if you're doing a show or um or practicing um you definitely want to um you know have a couple of them going at the same time so as one is drying you could work on the other one and then you know and just it's fun i mean i, I mean yeah i've done one at a time but it, it just takes forever because you have to let it sit dry or whatever technique you're using um you know and then a month later you've only done you know what one or two versus if you do quite a few of them at the same time by the month then or, or whatnot, you know, you may have 10, 15, you know, however many, depending, you know, how many you do um, at a time. So, especially if you, you know, if you're doing a show or if you're trying to sell these or whatever it may be, um, or practicing, um, you know, that's why I have the templates and things like that. Cause it just, it, it, especially when doing videos, you know, to try to draw it on here and, you know and things like that it just the process is just much longer so 
this way you can do it much quicker and you know have multiple um, artworks so let me finish this part and then I'll let it dry and then we'll you know evaluate see if we have to hit another one all right so this layer is pretty dry so I'm gonna do another one and um, you know again go around it um, I think it's just gonna take one more and then um, I think we're gonna be good after that so let's begin All right, so this one is um, still drying. Um, you can see a couple of spots um, right here too. It's kind of hard to pick up. Um, and as you can see, you, know, you can see some of the texture. And the camera will not be picking it up. And even some of this where it's really dark around here, you can still play around and fade it out or you can leave it like that. Um, it's really up to you. I mean, we just, it's it's an abstract painting really um, so you don't have to get very detailed with it now like those little spots right there that that's probably from the white canvas right here too so you can take a little bit of um, green ac acrylic paint and even with your fin just kind of tap it like that and fade it in there you know it kind of bothers me especially that one so I'll do that um, and again I'm um, you know, we may glaze it, we may do several different things, but for now, um, this is it.